Hello guys, here we are today with the Challenger Stage Pick'ems. These are never that difficult, so hopefully we will be on our way to another diamond coin. Let me just flex real quick, sorry, okay, let me find it, wait, wait. Not silver, ignore that, that never happened. Here it is, Stockholm 2021 diamond coin. Oh my god, what a flex. Diamond coin incorporated, absolutely incredible. So today, Hopefully, we're going to be able to get another one of these, and I'm going to show you guys how. But first of all, very quickly, before we get into it, check out the sponsor, Skins Monkey, on how to get a free $5 trading your CSGO skins for actually a fair price for once. Hi, you. Yes, you. Would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Okay, so what I always do with these, for the 3-0 team, you don't really want to pick somebody. Like, imagine if Navi was here. You usually don't want to pick them for 3-0 since they're pretty much guaranteed to make it through, but they're not always guaranteed to get the 3-0. So let's see, who could we actually pick for that? Like, G2 would probably be the 3-0 team, but I'm just going to say they're going to make it through. So... Just gonna play the safe card, keep everything easy. Same goes with the Astralis, another top team I don't really think is gonna struggle at all going through. Outsiders is a team, if you guys didn't know, this is just X Virtus Pro, it's the same roster, they're just competing under a different title because of everything that's going on over there, so I think they're another team that can make it through pretty easily. Liquid is where we start to get into sketchy territory, but I'll skip over them for now. IHC Esports is no joke a team I didn't even know was in this tournament until like the actual stickers came out. Not to mention, I checked their roster. It is not a single player I know. They seem to be a really underdog team that everybody is picking for 0-3. to three. So I'm just going to play it safe, say they're going to 0-3. and three. They're probably the best option. I think they have the least experienced players and probably the worst team out of everybody here. So I'm just going to pick them to go 0-3. But everybody was saying Copenhagen Flames were going 0-3 last time and they just farmed. So... It's possible they absolutely have a crazy run, but that being said, Vitality and Ants are probably two other teams that are going to easily make it through. I'm going to pick Vitality first. I guess it doesn't matter who I pick. I think they're both going to make it through. This, 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 and this, I think, are at least all safe picks. I haven't watched Ants play in a long time, and I think they're a fairly safe pick. I think they're better than... I wouldn't say they're necessarily better than Bad News Eagles, but they've got way more land experience, so I definitely think there's a big chance for them there. A team like 9Z can be one of those upset teams I feel can make it through, so I don't I don't really think there's any bad picks you can make in this stage because you could get a lot of safe picks. Either way, for my final two, number one, I'm just going to pick Liquid because I think they're definitely an established team. They should make it through, even though NACS is always choking. I think they're kind of a pick you should have. Because ideally they should make it through, but literally you never know with NACS. It'll either win a major or they will do absolutely nothing in 20 tournaments in a row. And for my final team to make it through, I think Team Spirit is a pretty safe option. I think Complexity is honestly not going to make it through. A lot of the NA teams like this have been struggling. Liquid I think included, but I think Liquid is better than Complexity. I think they have a better chance, so I'm just going to go with Liquid instead of them. Eternal Fire, Bad News Eagles, Imperial Esports, MIBR. This is Fallen's team, by the way, if you guys didn't know. And then Forest. And then Renegades as well. That's another like 0-3 to three team that everybody is going to say is not going to make it through. I'm not even going to talk about them that much. For the 3-0, and o, I kind of want to do Bad News Eagles for the meme, but I don't really know what the best choice would be. I honestly don't think any of these teams are going to 3-0. I think all my good picks are in this part, so I am just going to go with Bad News Eagles. You guys could go with whatever you want there. Shout out to the boys at Bad News Eagles. If they do go 3-0 or even make it through the first stage, that would be crazy. But I think these are pretty safe picks. I think G2, Astralis, Outsiders, Vitality, Liquid, or Spirit, or Ents, and then probably this team. I, I don't even remember their name. IHE Esports. <laughs> I think this is a pretty safe pick. All you have to do is get 5 correct to go on to the next stage and continue your run to the Diamond Coin. So... As for now, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Be sure to let me know in the comments if these pickums are absolutely awful, or if you guys had some different choices, why you made those different choices, stuff like that. But for now, as always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.